All right, so it is very damp outside, which means it is a great time for... Hi, my name's Jacob, and welcome to the second Guy Locked Himself in His Room to Learn Anything, a show where I lock myself in my room to learn a new skill. So as you can guess from the tale of the show, I'm a guy who loves intense learning, and the reason for that is because I'm also a guy who gets rather distracted very... What a nice shoe! Easily. So, <laughs> I'm going to be locking myself in my room to learn Figma. So Figma is a web-based UX design tool that allows you to design apps and websites and then be able to prototype them and make incredibly beautiful and high fidelity prototypes all in one place. So locking myself in my room to do this is um, eccentric. But to help me in this, I have a chili bin full of food. Wonderful. And the only exception for where I can can leave this room is for one reason to use the lavatory. Let it begin. Alrighty then. So it begins. So I just realized that before we begin, I should probably explain the brief. So, what I want to create is I want to create a very high fidelity prototype for an application for a smartphone. In preparation of this, what I was thinking is like, what would be the most bad idea that you could think of? But when you explain this bad idea to people, people would think, oh, that's a good idea when you first explain it to them. Okay, this bad idea is stuff swipe. So, have you ever had this problem? It is coming around to Christmas or your birthday, and your friends or family, they ask you, Jacob, what do you want for your birthday? And if you're like me, you'll be like, well, I don't know, actually. I did know, like, if you'd asked me this a few months ago when I saw this thing ages ago, I can't remember what it was, but, ah, oh, if you'd bought me there, whatever that one was, that's what I would have wanted. But the thing is, you don't know. But, to be able to solve this idea, stuff swipe. It's basically the idea of a, a wish list and Tinder came together, made a baby, you would have stuff swipe. So I downloaded some phone templates from online and just started drawing out each screen and then cut them out and placed them up so I could get an idea of the flow. Yeah, so it's gonna start with a loading screen. Then a loading screen would come to, it would start by giving you a list of categories like, you know, kitchenware, cars, toys, and you click like three that you're interested in and you press next. Next will take you to a screen that looks very familiar, that looks very much like Tinder, it's like swipe right to like, swipe left to not like. And then of course, like Tinder, if you click on the screen, it'll give you additional information such as description, buy the cheapest, buy the closest, now. Back on here, you'll notice that you've also got your wish list. So if you click on your wish list, that'll take you to your all of your saved products. So everyone can view this, and they can see the prices, titles, and if they click on them, then they'll take them back to this page here. Very nice. Now, if they click one of these buy buttons, like so, then they'll take out of the app, load your screen onto Chrome, and then that will take you to a website that is relevant where you can purchase products. The focus was not on this part at all, so I rushed through this part as quickly as possible because what I really want to learn, the skill that I want to learn, is Figma. So because UX design is totally new to me, I came across this amazing resource called Material Design by Google, and it has all these amazing color studies, icons that you can use, everything. It's a great place to begin. And talking about beginnings, the best place to begin is on the first page. So I began by creating the title page, which had the logo, and to make the logo a little bit better, I decided to grab myself some nice arrows, and then sort of played around with color choices and we went from there. So, a little confession at this point, I actually took all of my color choices and design cues from a template theme on material design. The reason for this is I didn't want to proliferate my time learning new design decisions and new techniques in graphic design. I solely wanted to learn Figma. So, <laughs> sorry for cheating. The next page to create was the categories page. So it was quite easy because I just created a few and then I just duplicated and rechanged all the names and just came up with things that seemed I don't know, plausible, added in another prompt, and then decided to duplicate the button, which is very easy, just slide it across, I can say next, and that was the second page, a done. So I've been playing around with the prototyping, and this is where all your screens turn into this animated working prototype, so if I've done all the linking right, this should work. So if I click like, should take me to the next, dislike, should take me another one. So it's not perfect. But it works, baby. <laughs> so I was a few hours in at the station. I was kind of thinking Figma is pretty easy to use, pretty easy to learn. And what actually helped me while I was doing this entire process is I was going back and forth with their YouTube videos 
to sort of learn the new skills as I was designing the app, and it worked quite well. Now I decided to go a little bit more advanced and I created something that allows me to scroll. Oh yeah, yeah. talk about advanced stuff. <laughs> anyway, I got back into it, added a few more details like a down button, sort of checking it back and forth. Yeah, it's, it's coming together, it's coming together. Now one of the things that makes Figma so great and such a powerful prototyping tool is that you can do these things where you link the screens together and when they click on certain things, it will go to another screen. And this allows you to create this high fidelity prototype that people can actually interact with as if they're interacting with a real app. So instead of creating the pages where people could buy things from, I just took some quick screen grabs on my phone and used them instead. And just worked them straight into the design. A little bit sneaky, but saved me a lot of time and actually it looks more authentic. The final step was to create the wishlist page where all of the things that you liked were collected. Pretty simple. And then it was done. So it's now night time, I've been going at it for a bit. Um. The app is a mate, like Figma, wow, is it a powerful and very simple to understand app. What I'm creating, do I like it? No, I do not like it. Is it good? Mm, it's okay. Have I understood Figma? Yeah, I would say I have a good basic understanding of it now and I could probably use it forever. But without, you know, me yabbering on about my woes and yos, let's uh, have a look at the app. Alright, here we have our massive links and all the different pages of the app. And if we've done it right, it should work well on this phone. In hindsight, I should have made the begin button a different color than white. So I press begin, takes me to the category page, click a few categories, very nice, then begin. Then I just arrange my categories. I go, oh, those are nice. I like those. Swipes right for me. Oh, I quite like that cabin too swipe right on that. Oh, those look interesting. I want to click on for a bit more information. Click on that. Here it is. Uh-huh. Very nice. Scroll across. Get a nice little view of what it is. Very nice. I go, oh, I'd quite like to buy that. Click buy now. Brings up to a place where I can buy it from. Very nice. Hit the back button up in the corner. Back button up in the corner. <laughs> Takes me back. Hit that to my like list. Very nice. And let's say, nah, I don't dislike those. Oh, that's an interesting bag. Very nice. But I want to check out my wish list. So I press this button up here in the corner, and that takes me to my wish list. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the first app I ever prototyped. I mean, that's pretty cool. I mean, with no UX experience at all, and I think it definitely shows, <laughs> I created a, I designed an app. And uh, I think this justifies uh, me walking out of my room, and it is, what's the time? Time is half past 10, that means I've been in this room for eight hours. I did this one quicker. So congratulations to me. I can now walk out of this room. So as you can see, I'm recording this video a little bit later. I have moved to a new flat. Welcome, welcome. So what I learned from this lock and load session is I tried something completely new. I tried UX design, I'd never done it before. And this got me thinking, maybe if you know, if you're a young young person, you're not entirely sure what you want to go do. Going to university and just doing a degree for the sake of it is not a good idea at all. Because if it's not what you want, you've wasted a heck of a lot of money. So what I'm thinking is maybe these lock and learn sessions is a really good way to try out new sort of career pathways to kind of see what the work feels like. I mean, you can do it in a day. And so I'm thinking that maybe that'd be a good way to test things out. If you're sort of wondering about a path, just try it. Hmm. So Figma, man, is it an amazing tool. I really, really am impressed. It was incredibly simple to learn and it's incredibly powerful. You can do a lot with this web-based tool. So if you want to learn Figma, um, in the description below, I've included all links to all of the videos that I used for my lock and learn session. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, then please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And I'm always producing other content very similar to this, so definitely subscribe for that. And I'll see you all later, I guess. Anyway, goodbye, Jacob. <laughs>